Hey folks, it's Scott. And Megan. And today we're going to talk about EPSOs, or Early Post-Secondary Opportunities. These are great ways to get college credit before college begins. So today's key points that you'll want to take away are that EPSOs, or Early Post-Secondary Opportunities, are programs through which high school students can earn college credit before they enroll in their chosen post-secondary institution. EPSOs are a great opportunity to prepare for the rigors of college and potentially cut down on the amount of time and money you'll spend on your college degree. The most popular EPSOs are AP courses, IB courses, and dual enrollment, enrollment, which allow high school students to take college level courses while still in high school. So as we discussed in our previous lesson on the various components of kind of a college application, your high school transcript is the one that admissions counselors will review most closely and consider heavily when making their decision about your application. So the one thing that they're gonna be looking for in that review is the rigor of your curriculum. In other words, did you take challenging academic courses? And were they available to you while you were in high school? And how many of them did you take advantage of and how did you do? So one way that you can demonstrate rigor in your um, college application is by taking EPSOs or early post-secondary opportunities in high school. So EPSOs are courses and exams that offer college level academic experiences and they can be used to show how prepared you are for the rigor of your college courses. If you are academically and intellectually prepared for them, completing EPSOs can provide you with a wide variety of benefits, personally, academically, and financially. First, as we just discussed, EPSOs will increase the rigor of your curriculum, which will reflect well on your academic profile in the college admissions process. Admissions staff will see that you have not only challenged yourself, but taken the initiative to seek academic experiences beyond what is expected or required of you, and develop the knowledge and skills needed to master college-level work. Students who have done this are far more likely to succeed in their actual college classes, and that, above all else, is what they need to see from a potential new student. Secondly, EPSOs will make the transition to college courses less overwhelming and build your overall academic confidence. Regardless of whether or not they help you get into college, these experiences will help you build the knowledge and skills you need to excel when you get there. This means lower stress levels, fewer needed supports, and more opportunities to prepare yourself for a successful career in your field of choice. And finally, many EPSO experiences will actually earn your college credit before you even arrive on campus. For example, taking and passing the AP Calculus exam in high school might mean that you don't have to take an entry-level math course when you get there. Keep in mind that colleges handle and grant EPSO credit in different ways, but even knocking out one or two required courses can decrease the amount of time and money you spend in college or free up some of that time and money to explore more courses that actually interest you. Okay, so EPSOs are great and you should definitely take advantage of them, but what are your options and you know, okay, how can I participate? So there's a wide variety of EPSO opportunities available to Tennessee students, which means you can often pick and choose work, which work best for you, depending on your school offerings, your personal priorities, um, or kind of your overall capacity. So one category of EPSOs that you likely have already heard of are college level courses built into your high school curriculum. These courses teach content in a way that's more rigorous than your traditional high, uh, high school courses, right? And they focus on academic skills that you're going to need in college. In most cases, this course ends with a final exam. And scoring well on that exam, you know, like an AP exam, will demonstrate your mastery on college applications and make you eligible to receive that college credit. So the most popular EPSO in this category are Advanced Placement, or AP courses, some of which uh, are probably offered at your high school. Similar programs include the IB, or International Baccalaureate Program, as well as the Cambridge Assessment International Education Program. In most cases, students in these programs, uh, if they're offered as part of their high school curriculum, but students can sometimes prepare for and take the exams on their own or even as part of an independent study. Um, so, colleges consider these courses and their corresponding tests to be very rigorous, very high quality, and in part because these tests are standardized and the course curriculum are developed by well-respected organizations like the College Board. So teachers who teach these courses even have to go through a special training and certification process to make sure they understand how to deliver the material in an effective and a rigorous way. Yep. Another opportunity to take college-level courses in high school is through dual enrollment. Dual enrollment refers to classes on college campuses or taught by college professors that are open to high school students and can be taken for college credit. The format of dual enrollment courses will vary depending on the situation. Some are in-person classes on the college campus that are open to both current college students and dual enrollment high school students. 
Some are online courses that are either open to all students or designed specifically for dual enrollment programs. And others are classes taught on the high school campus by college professors. Some early college high schools have designed their curricula entirely around dual enrollment partnerships, and students can graduate from high school with some or all of their college degree already completed. The Tennessee Department of Education offers a dual enrollment grant that covers the cost of these classes for students who want to take advantage of these courses. If your high school does not have a well-established well dual enrollment partnership and a clear process for enrolling, you can talk to your counselor to learn more about your options and the steps you need to take to work dual enrollment into your class schedule. From an admission standpoint, dual enrollment courses are great opportunities to demonstrate your ambition and your dedication to learning, particularly if you have to put in all the work to find, fund, and enroll in the courses themselves. However, the content of dual enrollment courses is not as standardized as those um, as I, you know, AP or IB courses, so whether or not you receive credit for those courses will depend on where you took them as well as the specific policies of the college that you're applying to. Some episodes don't involve any actual courses, but simply provide an exam that you can take to demonstrate your level of mastery in a particular subject area. You may want to take one of these exams if you feel like you've mastered a content area, but you don't have an opportunity to take AP or IB or complete a dual enrollment class in order to prove your mastery in college to the admissions staff. So one opportunity for this demonstration of kind of college level content is the College Level Examination Program or CLEP, which is offered by the College Board. Students can register and take a CLEP exam at any time, and these tests cover a wide variety of subject areas from American government, English literature, natural science, is Spanish and more. CLEP exams do not require you uh, to, uh, to take it at a certain time, but they do require you to pay a registration fee. So you should really only sign up for one if you feel confident in your ability to do well and to earn credit. Um, also, keep in mind that not all colleges ex accept your CLEP scores for college credit. So it's a good idea to check the policies of a specific school that you're applying to before you register to make sure that your results will actually be taken into account. The last category of EPSOs involves opportunities for students to take college level classes on a college campus outside of the school year and establish dual enrollment programs. One of the most common ways to secure these types of opportunities is by applying or registering for summer academic programs on college campuses. Many schools offer these pre-college programs that allow high school students and prospective future applicants to live on campus for a few weeks, experience a version of college life, and take college courses with real college professors. In some cases, successful completion of these college courses will earn you credit that can be applied to your own college curriculum, whether or not you end up attending that specific school. So keep in mind that not all summer programs offer credit for their courses and not all colleges will accept credit that is acquired through a summer program. However, these summer experiences are worthwhile either way since it gives you an opportunity to sample college life and demonstrate to college admissions counselors that you're excited about and prepared for the whole ex college experience. Even if an official pre-college program is not available, some colleges will allow high school students to enroll in summer courses that are available to their own students, as long as they pay the cost of tuition and materials. These are more expensive experiences and often more difficult to track down, but they can be extremely beneficial for students who want to get a head start on their college credits and are excited to begin learning about their chosen academic field. Key point review. EPSOs or early post-secondary opportunities are programs through which high school students can earn college credit before they enroll in their post-secondary opportunity. Point number two, they're a great opportunity uh, for you to prepare for those rigors of college and cut down on the amount of time and money you're going to have to spend. And third, uh, most popular EPSOs are AP and IB courses in dual enrollment, and these allow students to take college-level courses while they're still in high school. All right, that's all we got about EPSOs. Have a good one. Keep persisting.